The way we make things is changing, radically. A new set of ideas and trends have emerged and combined to create a new industrial revolution, one led by people and human innovation. They're using ideas like collaborative design teams and leaner, more customizable manufacturing. Once upon a time, a factory made one thing. Now, a factory can make almost as many things as there are people to imagine them. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. The need to mitigate the impact of climate change to the environment continues to be a global initiative. This has since seen more and more companies shifting into green buildings. Distributor of electronic products Ellie's has recently launched its new green building in Johannesburg, which operates fully on renewable energy. Zandile Mavuso has the story. Based in Village Deep in Johannesburg, Elise has launched its new green building which operates on 100% off-grid energy as a result of its 72 210 watt solar panels as well as a wind generator. This being the case, Elise Executive Commercial Manager Roran Randall explains why Elise felt the need to switch to renewable energy. I think one must look at our environment firstly and the whole concept about green is stemming from protecting our planet. And that's how this was derived. You know, the whole world has gone green in terms of trying to save our planet with energy efficiencies, with water, with how we utilize our energy efficiencies. With, For example, lighting is one example where you can reduce your use of energy. You know, and that way we're protecting our planet. And that's key for us. In, you know, we need to give back to our planet and protect it also in the long run for the future, for future generations. Having experienced the benefits of using renewable energy in its everyday running of events, the Elise Green Building also serves as a showroom of all the latest global trends of energy saving inventions. Randall points out why Elise saw this as a business opportunity. I think Elise, from a business perspective, saw opportunity in two, in two ways. One, there's a synergy in terms of supporting our environment and also commercial, there's a commercial opportunity. So we could offer the consumer a service by saving energy and cost efficiencies where they, their savings on, on, for example, whatever product they use in our range from our solutions, whether it's solar, whether it's lighting, they can save money. For example, going off grid, you can save money. So you're adding value not only to a business model, but also to the end consumer who will save money in the long run. You know, in today's economy, everyone needs to save. Having installed the solar panels at the Elise Green Building, renewable energy company African Solar Power, country manager Chris Stockwell, indicates the possibilities of going off-grid and relying on solar panels for adequate energy supply. It is possible to go off-grid. That would not be an over-the-counter purchase. It's more of a project-orientated approach. But many South African consumers are off the grid due to inaccessibility to the grid or due to choice. Not only is switching to renewable energy becoming a global trend, Stockwell also mentions that it has positive cost savings as well. The of a photovoltaic installation is somewhere in the region of 25 years. You can compare it to buying six years electricity at once and then getting 25 years electricity for that purchase price. Energy saving lighting has been the most popular energy saving trend in the past few years. Elise Head of Renewable Energy, Andre Botma, mentions that more advancements have emerged in lighting, which make them more energy efficient. Energy efficient lighting, um, as recent as the last two years, are now really allowing you to transform spaces, but also at the same time save you between 70 and 95 percent of electricity with in the same period you can you can extend the life so you can you can you can maintain the light output that you had from day one up until the end of its life and only lose 20 or 30 percent of its of its uh, light output so um, I've got I've got an example where we um, we sat uh, as recent as two weeks ago outside someone's foyer, foyer where they had a 40 lights incandescent, 60 watt lights in there. And we worked out that because they operate for 10 hours a day, seven days a week, that it cost him about 10,100 rand of electricity to run these lights. 
and with say, we're changing it to a 5 watt LED, which is more than sufficient in that application, it will only cost him 840 rands a year. So it's, the saving is significant, it's almost 10%, and it's, it's down to 10%, and it cost him about 5,000 rand to install, which means within six months he would have paid back his investment, and after that he saves every year. And you have an extensive life, up to eight to 10 years, depending on the burning hours. So, you know, your maintenance factor is reduced. It's amazing how much you can save. So in this building, for argument's sake, we've reduced to a switch, switchless environment. So all the rooms have occupancy sensors. If you're not in the room, the lights turns itself off. So you save a further energy saving. So you don't leave it up to the consumer to leave a light on or uh, a boardroom um, lighting system being left on. Othman says that the cost savings of switching to energy efficient lighting are significant. Between, between 70 and 95 percent, depending on the application and an and average burning hour rate of about 10 hours a day. Energy saving can also be experienced through the latest LED television sets, which are high definition multimedia interface or HDMI. Elise Audio Division Manager Craig Bissell tells how this is possible. Plasmas and LED screens. Uh, we've recently had a shift now to LED screens, LED displays. Uh, they're lighter, they're more efficient, um, they've got a nicer contrast ratio. Plasma and to less extent the, LED, uh, the LCDs had their place in the market but the LEDs just look nicer, sleeker, the viewing angle's great. Um, so there's been, there's been a shift to that side, it's a little bit more costly um, the other shift we've seen is obviously the inputs for those TVs. Um, the LEDs these days only come with HDMI inputs, um, the odd optical and DVI input, but it's getting to a stage now where all the, the um, your laptops, uh, all your computers, your HDMI um, is becoming a predominant player. Uh, the, and Ellie's has invested a lot in creating uh, the right distribution equipment, cables, and we've done a hell of a lot of research to make sure that we are ready for the, this boom that's going to come with HDMI. Uh, already, most of the households are, are looking at or have started getting in their own HDMI products, the um, PVR decoders, now the Explorer decoders, um, two Blu-ray players, uh, two Xboxes, so distributing HDMI is going to become vital in, in your household in the future and Ellie's is well prepared and kitted up to, to basically take our customers into this new venture um, of everything being HDMI. Being a distribution company, Elise hosts installer trainings and new product launches at its new green building facility. This equips its customers on efficient installation of its energy efficient products. For Crema Media, I'm Zandile Mavuso, Village Deep. President Jacob Zuma has officially opened the Department of Environmental Affairs, or DEA's, new green head office in Pretoria, describing it as an event that would usher in a new green-focused era for the South African construction industry, as Natalie Grieve reports. The design and construction of the 30,000 square metre headquarters, dubbed Environment House, was completed in alignment with green building specifications, resulting in it becoming the third building in the country and the first government building to be awarded a six Green Star South Africa rating from the Green Building Council of South Africa, or the GBCSA. At the launch, Zuma lauded the development as a tangible example of government's commitment to lessen its environmental impact and mitigate its carbon footprint. The construction of environment house signals a new era for the construction industry. We welcome the fact that the building has received a six green star essay rating from the Independent Green Building Council of South Africa. It is correct that the headquarters of the Department of Environmental Affairs became the first to win this Green Award. Applause 
you will now lead by example. With the opening of this building today, we are showing a bold commitment to lower emissions as well as our commitment to the green economy. The Department of Environmental Affairs is literally walking the green talk. The building's overall energy consumption would be limited to a yearly maximum of 115 kilowatt hours per square meter, while solar generated power would provide between 15% and 20% of the building's energy needs, making it a flagship development in the green building space. GBCSA CEO Brian Wilkinson enthused. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.